East Texas. Now, as always, I'm your host, Michaela Goose, but we are joined right now, top of that 345 15 minutes with Courtney Willis. She is the Bullard Education Foundation president. Courtney, thank you so much for joining us today. Thank you so much for having us. I appreciate it. Now, we're here to talk about the Bullard Education Foundation specifically because tomorrow you are a part of the 18 hour donation marathon here in East Texas, known as East Texas Giving Day. Let's go ahead and jump right on in. Bullard Education Foundation, why is this the organization to donate to? Well, we are a volunteer led organization and all of our money raised goes directly back to the multitude of our campuses that we have through our grant program. And this grant program, I imagine, requires a little bit of some financial support to keep it going. But that the grant program, who benefits from that? Is it teachers, students, administration? Where does that money go towards? So this past grant cycle for the year of 23, we gave away over $62,000 in grants both in mini grants and our educational grants that went directly back to every single campus that we have here in Bullard and the administration. And it truly benefits our students and it benefits our teachers. They're able to bring in innovative programs and ideas that they've seen that, you know, we just don't always have the funding for, but it's just something that's so amazing to give back to our students. Now, can you name some of these amazing programs? I've heard a couple of them, but the Bullard Education Foundation, some of these grants have led to amazing innovations, as you were just saying, specifically for the students. Do you have some favorites? Yeah, we, we've had quite a few. Um, one of our big favorites last year was our virtual reality program that our architectural students were awarded in the high school. Um, they could walk through their designs, they had goggles that they could use and they could actually see their designs come to life. Um, we had our middle school sports medicine program. We were able to, you know, grant them their desire for blood pressure cuffs and stethoscopes so they can not only learn how to take blood pressure, yeah. which is very important as they move through that sports medicine program, but they also were able to truly understand when we go and we're with a healthcare provider, why it's important to, you know, listen and be quiet so they can truly hear what they're looking for. Now, have you worked with East Texas Giving Day before? Have y'all been a part of this amazing uh, day of donations? Yes, ma'am, we have. We, you know, we had the past couple of years, it's been really fun. Not only do we, you know, enjoy promoting it online on the social aspect, but we try to take it a little bit further um, and we actually give a thank you back to our community because it is truly our community, our parents, our grandparents that are supporting us. And so this year during car pickup line tomorrow, we're going to on some of our lower campuses, we're going to give a thank you back to some of those parents and everything that are, you know, sitting there in those car lines waiting tomorrow afternoon. Because the parents sitting in the car lines, they really that car yeah. line can I've had to drop off some kids in a car line before and that is no joke out there. They yes. are cut throat in that car line. Definitely, Let's go definitely. ahead jumping right on you. You've had such a big success with East Texas Giving Day in the past. What do we hope to gain from this year's success? I think one of the big things that we truly look forward to each year with East Texas Giving Day is, you know, it puts us out there. A lot of people still may not know that all the schools typically have an education foundation. So it's good visibility, not only for us, but for a lot of other organizations that if it wasn't through this program, a lot of people might not know that we're out there and that they can support us. Now, final question, where can people go to donate to the Bullard Education Foundation tomorrow, April 30th, take it away. So we are at EastTexasGivingDay.com slash Panther Pride. You can donate there. Um, we will also have links on all of our social media campaigns, on our Facebook page, on our Instagram page. We'll have links that'll take you directly to the site. Um, and also on our new redesigned website, BullardEF.com. We'll be able to get you where you need to go tomorrow. All right, is there anything, anything that I have not asked you that you wanna make sure our viewers and East Texas knows? No, I mean, we just, we truly appreciate the support. And if it wasn't, it wasn't for our amazing community and our volunteers that lead this organization, we would not be able to do what we're able to do. So thank y'all for that. Well, thank you so much for coming on the show. We hope to be talking to you soon. Good luck tomorrow. Uh, once again, Courtney Willis, president of the Bullard Education Foundation. Thank you so much for joining us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. I appreciate it.